What is going on everyone? Today we got the RTX 5070 Ti. We're going to be checking it out in Borderlands 4. Of course, we've got it paired with an AMD 9800X3D and 32 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM at 6000 megahertz. We'll be going through all the different settings to see what you can expect from this card at 1440 and 4K resolution. If you're brand new here, I invite you to subscribe. If you're not new here, thanks for coming back. I appreciate it. All right, what's going on everyone? We've got Borderlands 4 and I've kind of cleared this area out. This is probably about 20 minutes into the story or so and this is a nice safe area. We won't ruin anything and uh, you'll be able to check out some of the performance settings that we got here today. This is currently on high. There's low, medium, and high. High is where it uh, kind of performs right there at a comfortably above 60 rate. Everything else above this is, you know, pretty good. And I'm gonna do like a little bit of a competitive settings at the end. So we're gonna be checking out some of those low and mediums uh, for those folks who really wanna max out a panel. I've got a 240 Hertz refresh panel here. So I'm gonna try to max that out uh, with some settings at the end. So I'll have all the chapter markers set up for you if you wanna check that out. But uh, yeah, welcome and we're gonna get into it. So we have about 68, 71 FPS here. Currently the settings are just on high, no upscaling methods at all, not even DLAA, just straight up nothing. Uh, we're gonna go up to very high and toggle this over. And you see why I selected high, because when you go to very high, it drops to under 60, which you, know, you guys hear me say quite a bit that it all depends on the game. Uh, if this was a more story-based kind of uh, shooter-like, potentially, I'm trying to think of a game uh, right off the top of my head, something like Control or Hell is Us, uh, something that, you know, wasn't really a fast-paced title. Um, you would be hearing me say like, oh, this is fine, just use frame generation. But at this point, this game is very, very dependent on the first-person shooter element, and I would really like to have a nice high FPS, especially with the competitive aspect of this title. Uh, so we're going to check this out uh, real quick. So at, at 58 FPS, 60 FPS, we definitely want to use some DLSS to get that up a little higher. We're going to check out the badass setting, which I absolutely love that name. That is awesome. Uh, so that gives us a little bit of performance hit. Of course, we've got uh, everything maxed out. This maxes out your lumen, uh, which is pr some pretty intensive lighting. Uh, and that gives us about a 42 FPS experience here. Uh, now it does look really great, but let's just see what we can do with some DLSS on that um, very high setting and see if we can bring that back. So DLSS quality is what we're going to check out. All right, so this is high with DLSS quality. That gives us that nice uh, boost back up to a plus 60 experience, you know, most of the time, probably all of the time, barring a few little 1% uh, situations here and there. Our 1% lows, speaking of, are around 46, 47. Got a little bit of a squiggly graph down there. Nothing too terribly bad. I've definitely seen worse. Um, minor, minor hangs, like that one just there. Uh, but, you know, for the most part, day one, uh, you, this is pretty, pretty good compared to a lot of day one games. Uh, it's running pretty well. But, yeah, 83 FPS here uh, with some DLSS quality on very high. So what if we check out the badass setting? with quality. All right, so this is again 1440p badass settings uh, with quality DLSS that gives you a 71 FPS experience. So that's, you know, quite nice. That feels pretty good. Uh, nothing wrong with that at all. Dips down to about 62 here and there. And you know, again, this is kind of an area that I cleared out so I could do a test, but uh, it's pretty consistent with how the game has run so far. So uh, I think it's a pretty good area to test in. Again, I haven't had a whole lot of time to get to another point, so I didn't want to uh, delay the, you know, kind of run through of this title um, without, you know, getting you guys at least one test in tonight. But uh, yeah, we're at 70 FPS up here, so we got a little bit of swings here and there, but nothing too crazy. Let's jump over to the very next DLSS setting, which will be balanced. Let's see what kind of increase we can get from that. All right, so that's 82, 83 FPS. 71 drops down a little bit depending on where you're at of course 65 uh yeah right as we pass that lamp that was probably a little bit to do with that lumen um lighting effect stuff going on but yeah as we look at lamps we're just going to see how that goes up we loaded the sky in so that's why it went up pretty harsh right there uh yeah so we're looking pretty good 81 F fps here so let's just jump over and check out what a performance setting would look like on badass uh, again at 1440p 
Uh, I don't love going down this far, uh, but the art style of the game really lends itself to upscaling because it's already like a really artistically styled game to be pretty sharp. Uh, and that sharpening just, you know, it looks really good, even uh, even at 1440p with the um, performance DLSS. So, uh, yeah, this is kind of an outlier from what I would normally say, but, you know, just that art style really helps it out. Uh, look Looks really good. So 91 FPS here. Now let's see what it looks like if we go back up uh, to quality and then kick on some frame generation. going to just check out 2X for right now and uh, see what that does for us, but that gives us... 127 FPS, yeah, no complaints there at all. No ghosting, I don't see any ghosting. Everything feels nice and responsive here. Again, mouse and keyboard, you know, um, I generally would use a controller, but for this kind of game, you know, I definitely want a mouse and keyboard. But uh, let's go ahead and shoot that thing. All right, there we go. Should blow up, there we go. All right, that was fun. All right, so anyway, um, yeah, we got 104 FPS down here. So it went down a little bit, but nothing too terrible. Um, yeah, we're looking pretty good though. I mean, 110 FPS, that's nothing to really complain about. Let's see what the 4X frame generation looks like and come back out. Now our VRAM is nice and managed. We're only at a 10.7 here and we're at 200 FPS right here with frame generation set to 4X. Uh, no ghosting visible to me at all. Again, that's just because that base frame rate is, you know, pretty high, about 80, 90 FPS or so, depending on where you're at. So uh, 1440p is super doable. I mean, this is like, um, you know, if you really wanted to see like a competitive setting, I would probably say you could come in here and drop it down to maybe medium, leave everything else the same. That frame generation quality DLSS would look pretty good. Uh, let's see what that gives us as far as a lift goes, uh, because I have a 240 hertz refresh panel and that gives me 282. So I could lock this to 240 and be perfectly fine throughout the entire game uh, at 1440 on medium settings. Looks really good, um, running smooth. So this is probably a nice competitive setting here uh, if you wanted to get that, um, that frame generation to help you kind of get over the hump, but everything looks really nice, super, super smooth. Um, game, you know, as far as day one games go, uh, it's definitely like a 9.5 out of 10 as far as uh, smoothness compared to most titles. All right, so that wraps up the 1440p section. Let's jump over to the 4K section. All right, we're going to start the 4K section off on low. All right, so this is 4K on low. Uh, we're at 56 FPS, so this is kind of where I determined earlier that uh, I needed to start because we're not even at 60 yet, but we're right there at it. We're pretty close. Uh, you know, if you're at 4K, it is significantly harder to run. Of course, we're not doing any upscaling right now. So this kind of tells me to go any higher, we're going to have to, you know, go higher with some DLSS on to keep that frame rate nice and high. Uh, just to give you a quick look, though, uh, let's jump over to high and just see what it does without any sort of upscaling at all. Of course, that gives you a 38 FPS experience. So, you know, of course, you're going to have to use upscaling at 4K on the 5070 Ti, which, thank goodness, it looks really good all the way to performance and maybe even ultra performance. Just again, due to this art style, uh, it tends to look uh, pretty good even at ultra performance. So we're gonna, gonna um, keep it on low and then we're gonna go to upscaling. We're gonna turn that on to quality here. All right, so we're not gonna do any frame generation. Make sure everything looks good. Low, DLSS quality, everything looks good here. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so that gave us a nice boost. We're up to 87 FPS here. Again, this is just low settings. Everything definitely looks a bit more flat. Um, definitely not getting the nice lighting of the higher settings, but it does run pretty well. Uh, here at uh, 4K, we're at 90 FPS, 82 FPS, no upscaling uh, beyond quality and no frame generation. So we're just quality DLSS right now. All right, so let's just see what we can do as far as uh, creeping this up in the settings and still maintaining at least 60 FPS because I don't know too many competitive players who compete at 4K. Uh, generally, you're at 1440 or even 1080. Uh, but yeah, we're looking pretty good here. If you did want to jump uh, over to the uh, 5070 Ti, I think this would actually be a pretty nice card if you're considering it. All right, so that is a 71 FPS experience here. 
let's just kind of keep working up through these uh, presets here and just see where we start to uh, need a little bit more upscaling. Right here is probably where I would say uh, we need a little bit more upscaling because on a game like this, you know, I like to have at least 60 pretty cons consistently, like 70, 80 FPS. Again, because this is a, a game that does require some pretty quick reflexes. It's not some of the titles you've heard me kind of go through uh, in the in the past, like some of my Chrono series. You know, I, I kind of commented a lot that 45 or 50 was pretty okay for that title because it is a lot slower. But this is definitely not a game like that. You definitely want like some pretty uh, quick reflexes. And our PCL is at 35 milliseconds here, which is pretty good. I mean, that's actually a pretty nice uh, PCL. But uh, we're just going to see if we can improve things here a little bit more with some upscaling. So this is just high. All I did was just turn on some upscaling. That's it. Just balanced upscaling. And that gives us 63 FPS. Still not high enough for what I would you know, want to play the whole game at. Uh, I would definitely, again, like to get at least consistently above 70. Uh, so it's probably going to need a little bit more help with DLSS. So let's just jump over here and see what we can do. All right, so balance. This is, again, just going to stay on the high setting. We're just going to have to keep helping it out here at 4K. Uh, to get it to be able to maintain the performance that I personally want. So this would be kind of where I would say would be a nice uh, way to play it. You know, you're not relying on frame generation at all. You're just doing some uh, performance upscaling. And at 4K, performance looks quite nice. And even at um, ultra performance on this title, it looks really good too. Again, a lot of it, I think, has to do with that art style. So if we go up, uh, we still have ultra performance we can go to, so we can see what we can do on some very high. All right, so this is still very high, and we are on performance. And, uh, yeah, we are about 66 FPS, 63 FPS. This would honestly be okay. Uh, it's not the badass setting, uh, but it does look pretty nice. It brings in a lot more nice lighting. Uh, again, the art style does permit you to kind of use DLSS a lot harder than you would uh, in like a more realistic type type of title again it's just because everything's kind of already outlined in black you have a lot of contrast to begin with so you don't get those like weird fuzzies and weird gaps between things some of these cracks down here in the cement i'm kind of seeing those uh, you know start to flicker a little bit just because that line's pretty thin but you know for the most part it doesn't really degrade very much at all i mean you know side by side you'd be able to tell but me personally you know, without being side by side and comparing the two, I think uh, that it doesn't look too bad at all. So let's just go down to ultra performance. Uh, since we're at 4K, you know, using ultra performance doesn't uh, scare me away too bad. So this is upscaling from 720p. Uh, that gives you 89 FPS. Now I can tell a difference here, but it's not like it's a bad difference. Again, the art style lends itself to being able to be upscaled pretty aggressively. Uh, and it actually kind of looks pretty cool. I mean, um, you know, it makes things even sharper um, with that DLSS quality. Now, they do degrade all the way down to here. But, you know, for the most part, man, I mean, this would be fine, too, at 4K. Now, if you see these cracks right here, especially as that light passes over them, you can see them kind of flicker in and out. I'm not sure if it's coming through on YouTube, but there they are right there. That's the only anomaly I really see. Me, personally, I could just get over it. Uh, so let's just see what we can do as far as get this up to badass settings at 4K. So this is badass with uh, ultra performance. To run badass settings, um, you know, at a comfortably high enough frame rate. Now you can still say that, you know, 60 is good enough for you. And that's an, actually a very respectable number to shoot for. Especially if you're going to do some frame generation. So let's bring that back up to, to performance. I'm trying to get my words out here without my mouth drying out too bad. All right, so yeah, we're looking about almost 60 uh, if you go up to performance with badass settings. So unfortunately, it's not a, you know, comfortably above 60, but it is close enough to 60 probably for most people to just do uh, some frame generation and call it a day uh, because it does look pretty good uh, with performance. So let's do that now. Let's come over here and uh, run some frame gen on top of this and see what we can expect. All right, so frame gen 2X, performance DLSS, and that gives you 93, 94 FPS or so. And uh, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is doing this weird thing because it's so dry. Um, need some water. 
All right, so yeah, we're at 50 or so uh, milliseconds of, on that PCL. So this is still a very snappy experience, especially if you're just worried about the story. Uh, but if you were wanting to go into a super competitive uh, state of mind, I'm trying to think of a resolution uh, at 1080p, a refresh rate that we could aim for that would be super competitive. Uh, probably 480 would be like the most competitive setting I can really think of that exists right now. Correct me if I'm wrong. I, I heard that there are some even higher refresh monitors coming out, but say you do want to target 1080p uh, 480. So uh, let's do that now. What the hell? I mean, let's jump over here and go to um, go to see what some really competitive settings would be. So this is 1080p. We're going to go ahead and switch that over. Um, and once this comes back, we'll start to play around with some of the settings. So here at 1080p, uh, we have the, uh, let's see, we need to turn off the frame generation, but I believe it's still on. Uh, let's see, yeah, frame gen is off now. Okay, so we're going to switch that back over to boost uh, for that reflex. And we're going to see what uh, maybe a high setting would look like uh, with performance DLSS and just see what this does for us. I have not done this before, so this is all just live uh, testing and figuring out. Okay, that gives us 116 FPS. Uh, and again, this is, um, you know, we could probably go a little harder on it. Uh, so let's see what we can do with some more competitive settings. I'm trying to get to like a just stupidly high refresh rate for you guys. So this is a performance setting. Uh, let's bring this down to low, see what that does. I just want to see if that gives us uh, anything that we can really like, you know, uh, bring up to a crazy high frame rate with um, some frame generation. So right here on performance DLSS, you're at 156 FPS. Um, I feel like some, for some people that still not, might not be high enough. So low ultra performance. Um, let's see how, how, what else we can do here. Low ultra performance. Let's see what that does without any frame generation. Then we'll turn on some frame gen and see what we can do. All right, so that's 175 FPS here. This would be like a 1080p uh, experience with no um, frame generation. Uh, so if you, you know, if you're aiming for like 160, uh, you know, or 120, it can definitely do 120. But say you're aiming for 160, um, you're right there, you know, able to do that, no problem. Let's see what we can do with some frame generation because I feel like once we turn on frame generation, that's really gonna um, take it up quite a few notches here. So let's just go straight to 4x. 4x frame generation. All right, that gives you 470 FPS, 476 FPS. Now, bear in mind that probably would not be as good if it wasn't for the CPU in this uh, machine. The 9800X3D can actually keep up with this uh, this kind of um, load. Uh, but you know, just you know, keep that in mind. You know, once you get to 1080p and you're looking for these super high refresh rates. Um, it is very dependent not only on the GPU, but the CPU at that point becomes a huge bottleneck. So bear in mind, 9800X3D is about the best you can get right now. So just kind of look up charts. If you don't have um, a 9800X3D or you're trying to you know, work with more of a budget, it is not a cheap uh, CPU. Uh, but if you're trying to work with more of a budget, you know, just kind of look up some of the Tom's hardware charts and see kind of where the CPU that you're looking at would kind of fall um, you know, in line as far as like what would what you would expect. So, yeah, that's probably going to wrap it up. This is the 5070 Ti uh, in Borderlands 4. And, uh, you know, this is my first uh, performance competitive setting. Uh, so don't don't judge me too hard if you're one of those folks that uh, uh, have a strong opinion about what I just did. Uh, please let me know and I'll do better if I need to. But uh, for what I know, I just know that, you know, competitive players really want the, you know, best FPS they can possibly get. PCL's at 20 milliseconds. That's pretty damn good in my book. So, uh, yeah, hopefully this has been insightful. And uh, we will see you guys in the very next video. Thanks for hanging out. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And if you have, thanks for coming back. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Peace.